Senna got buffed massively, and I really mean massively. Her crit damage used to be lower than that of other champions because she gets free crit chance from her passive. This debuff is now gone. She now deals full damage in the late game with her crit. She will get to 100% crit eventually. It's just a straight up damage increase, and it's not, e I mean, it's not even close to how it was before. She was already strong in uh, the late game before, but now it's, it's just ridiculous. She is so obscenely powerful. Anyway, let's first focus on this lane. We've got a very nice combo, actually. Couldn't get my Q out in time. Maybe she can take her. She has no flash. Looks good. Perfect. Yeah, okay, this was worth. Um, I committed hard there, knowing I could die, but uh, it's it's definitely worth if my AD carry gets a double kill as a consequence. So, um, in this game, we don't. We have four AD carries and an Olaf. Um, <laughs> I mean, let's see who gets one shot first, in any case. I, I really like how Senna is in the current meta. She is so strong. And, of course, you can take this over the top by buying an item like Infinity Edge that buffs your crit damage even further, because now you also don't get penalized for this. But I think the best way is, to, is still to play the Takir build with the Yomus Ghost Blade for your Mythic. Okay. We're getting a little greedy here. Ash is low. She hasn't based yet. That might be a problem. Oh, okay. Couldn't quite reach. Okay, Ash bases. I like. Okay, she doesn't. This is so awkward. Yeah, they can collect Dark Harvest stacks on her now. They have a very aggressive early game with Talia Misfortune. You have to respect it. I thought I clicked on her to attack, but apparently that was not the case. I just walked towards her like an idiot. In any case, I'm pushing this wave, so Ash loses as little farm as possible, and Misfortune loses as much farm as possible. I think I'm dead. <laughs> Oops. Actually, never mind, we're fine. Um. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks weird, though, how I just didn't click on Misfortune properly. Anyway, it still worked out, kind of. Ash has four kills by now. I mean, if that isn't a successful lane phase, then what is? And we're gonna boost the Swiftness, according to, K to Takir, the Senna main on whom I also did a deep dive analysis on my main channel. Um, check it out if you haven't already. Also, in case you don't know, I do have two YouTube channels. One is this one you're watching right now. Uh, I upload educational gameplay commentary live commentary of my own gameplay, that is. Um, and on my main YouTube channel, I upload uh, full educational guides. I mean, guides are always educational. I mean, I upload guides and uh, also YouTube shorts, you know. Um, so, just a heads up. Anyway, on this main channel, I analyzed his playstyle and I also interviewed him. And it's it's a very unique style with Dumas Ghostblade. And he explains why it's actually better than the Eclipse build. And so I will go for Ghostblade as well. I also think it's better. His explanation does make sense. The numbers add up. Anyway, we are now in a very favorable spot because Misfortune is stuck under tower with no HP. But we must not get flipped under tower by Talia. That's the thing we have to avoid here. Okay. Just take our souls. Ideally, we proc our keystone on the tower because that's not reduced healing. On minions, it's reduced. On tower, it's full healing. 
This Fulgin currently in base. We could have used that time to maybe base, or Ash could have used that time to base. But she's now in lane with a little bit low HP. It's whatever. Yeah, we're still looking very good. Simply because Ash got such a big lead. And Talia is low now as well, so they can't really abuse the fact Ash isn't at full strength. Hmm. Can't save it from that, but Cork is on his way. much healing. Come on. Get him. I, I, I risked that, but I mean it secured the kill for Teemo. I could have just set it max range and auto as soon as Misfortune turned, but I thought she would die a little faster. Anyway, it's still a favorable situation for us, obviously. Because they both died, and the wave state is good enough for Ash. She can just farm push and Misfortune will lose some CS, maybe Ash gets a plating. In any case, full Kraken Slayer on Ash. Yeah, yeah this, this looks very good for us. And also Serrated Dark and Lane is quite strong. The full build, I mean there is again the video, the, exp the explanation video on my main channel, but the full build is uh, Umber Glaive, Yomus Ghostblade, and then these two in any order, in whatever order is better in your current game. Against Hyperfed AP Assassins, Evelyn for example. You need to forego one of these late game items and instead buy a more of Mimosius. That's the full build. Yeah, we keep harassing them. Those long ranged Briar ganks with ult are kinda nasty though. But yeah, we keep pressuring the tower. Thanks to our boots, she cannot flip us here. Next wave, we will get a plating. Maybe Teemo can set up a dive. Or I just take the plating here. We take the dragon. Yeah, it looks good. Definitely want to be there for the, for, the, for the soul, if only. Yeah, for the little soul from Senna's passive, not the dragon soul, of course. Well, technically the dragon soul. Technically the truth. That's bold. Okay, Ash was way too greedy there. I don't think that needs any further explanation. <laughs> you saw what happened. Got level 6 now myself. I should push this in. So the wave state is good for us. Ah, pushed in too late. Need to kill these melee minions too now. Actually, kill, need, need to kill the entire wave, so the minions are cleanly under tower. Briar can try to gank me, who cares? It will take more damage than we. <sighs> I should have flashed earlier. Didn't realize she had that much movement speed. Man, that's a worst feeling. You die and you lose your flash. <sighs> oh well, now I have Umbrook Wave. Should make for much better lane control. And we're working towards Yomo's Ghostblade. Miss Fortune already has hers, but she also bought its first item. By the way, a build, I think... It's it's possible to go this uh, path on Miss Fortune, but I don't think it's optimal in any way. I think my Static Shift build is much better. Which is why I exclusively play that on my main accounts. <laughs> 
Hope my actions speak for themselves. That was the weirdest control word ever. They just gifted us gold. Ah, I hope to snipe them there. Okay, keep sieging. Oh no. That ghost was a little too much, wasn't it? <laughs> a little unnecessary. If I dare say. Keep going. Gotcha, fam. Nice. Your Ash again with the riskiest of moves, but we're right there to save her. Okay. <sighs> we we got away. That did not land. But yeah, in Senna your job is to bail out your AD carry in the early game, not get into too much trouble yourself. And in the late game you carry with range and damage. It's quite e quite easy, quite straightforward in terms of strategy. Please be careful, please. You're so overextended, buddy. Alright, so mid lane is suffering. Positively suffering. This Katarina is going to be a huge threat. But we won bot lane quite hard. So we might be okay? I mean, all we need to do is chill until we reach the late game and then we carry anyway I should have left that to him the bonus gold Okay, Katarina was snared, so I might live here. <sighs> I don't have the range for that quite yet. When Briar lands her stun, I'm dead, of course. That was oh, so stupid. I thought that Q was free. I don't have too much experience against Briar right now. I haven't seen her in too many games so far. I thought her Q stun range was shorter than that, but, well, you live and learn. Or you die and learn, in this case, I suppose. Yeah, but my mistake cost us quite a bit. She stops attacking Talia. Unfortunate, doesn't begin to describe. Come on, guys. Just play it slow. <laughs> Alright. I mean, we have 480 carries. We should win the late game, shouldn't we? <laughs> That's obviously a meme. Timo is not really an AD carry. Corky also isn't either. But they also have. St they still have decent late games. And, I mean, the the hard truth is our team composition kind of sucks. We don't have a front line, except for Olaf, who doesn't really have crowd control. So no peel for either of us, or any of us. Well, at least it's her flash. But yeah, this fed Katarina is an issue. We need to be so careful around her. I, I, I miss playing. I'm giving her openings for no reason. And Senna dying is so much worse than on other champions because you can't even collect souls. And souls are your soul scaling. <laughs> Come on, please. Get her. She's diving. She, she must not live there. 
which she doesn't. Ah, misfortune getting stuff for free. I better farm that or well, farm the wave under tower, or at least be there. I should just set these minions side to the tower so I can farm their souls. The melee minions I will last hit if I can, but the casters I will miss intentionally. Can I snipe the Talia? Yes, I can. <laughs> there we go. She showed me where she would base, so it wasn't even a guessing game. Chances are she's not watching her character too closely. Huge. We can stay for one more wave so we get more souls. And then we buy our mythic. Okay, only one extra soul, but I mean, it, it's value. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, Katarina kind of throwing. She looked so strong and now she died twice in a row. Actually, Katarina plus Akali. We'll, we'll just go more. <laughs> I trust Takir's judgment there. Plus Talia, yeah, they have so much magic damage. I think Maw is a good call. Maw scales with bonus AD, so it obviously works with the AD you get from your passive. It's quite strong. Okay. Oh, there's a ward right there, huh? Almost got baited, but ultimately it worked. Katarina died again. That's glorious. Keep going. Let's not walk into misfortune ulti if we can help it. Okay, she's stunned. She should die there. Nice. Yeah, that killed me, but yeah, look at the, the damage I took. More for Morpheus seems like the pickup here. And even the Hex Drinker will already help. That was unlucky. This Briar is also getting quite fed. I'm not gonna lie. Meanwhile, though, Hex Drinker is 500, however, so can't pick that up quite yet. <sighs> Tight game, all things considered, but I think we should have this in the late game. I can't really imagine a world where late game Senna doesn't win in a patch like this. There's another ward right here. Alright. Yeah, we can go towards Drake. I don't really like our team composition for Drake fights because no one can frontline the enemy once they challenge. But we'll make the most of it. What's Akali doing? Is she AFK? Yeah, I'll take full advantage, no shame. Ouch. I still have ulti. Katarina quite dangerous here. Okay. Yeah, she can't 1v4. <laughs> There's no chance. 
to be honest, this fight would have been quite sketchy had Akali not gifted us a kill there. I don't know if she is tilted or if she just had internet issues. But either way, that arguably saved us this dragon. <sighs> well, I don't complain. I like free dragons. Take the free stuff in the game. You know how it goes. Ouch. Okay. We have more. I'll recall get more. After getting the soul here. And this war. Okay, that works. That didn't. <laughs> We, we should have just retreated. Ash is still fighting, but I, I don't trust the situation. Wait, I, sh I should have just fought with her. I still get assists, though. All me. All me. <laughs> okay, good thing I returned, else Ash would have died. Wow, I didn't realize she was that strong. But I guess the lane phase did go quite well. Did it go quite well for her? So here we are now. We can take inhibitor. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Okay. I tried to save her, but it was in vain. Can I finally base? <laughs> Would be quite nice. Careful, buddy. Okay, let's get this and let's go for rapid fire cannon. I like the range. We just skip the last whisper item then. It's fine. We'll deal so much damage anyway. They don't really have armor stackers, so we're not getting punished too hard for doing this. And worst thing, if, if it comes to it, we can um, sell Amber Glaive. Yeah, that's the name. <laughs> okay, I guess we're taking Baron now. By the way, Takir never buys control wards in Senna. He thinks it's a waste of gold, and I fully agree. I hate control wards. Trap item. Good in pro, useless in solo queue, in my opinion. Well, arguably there are cases in which they do stuff, but most of the time it's just a waste of gold. Gold you gift to the enemy over nothing. Well, it was worth a try. Didn't land on the intended targets, but it still sent the message. <laughs> Okay. Wow. I got minion blocked of doom, but Ash destroys them all, so who cares? Ah, and the fear radius. She dies. Perfect. Whew. Yeah, Briar is strong in the 1v1. But a 1v3 is a different story, isn't it? I'm pretty sure we can just ride this barren wave to victory. Yeah, so it worked after all. Again, Senna, super strong champion this patch. Play her. Be smart and play this champion. And for more bot lane stuff, educational builds, videos, click the link on your screen.